this no i am shook shook hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cody girl Lesky, and welcome to another video yes Let's unbox some goodies. I went to the Curly Treats Festival this past Saturday in West London. It was really good. It was really nice to see like all the curly girls there. I um, uh, saw some new faces and um, saw some old faces. And yeah, it was just nice to see everyone and see all the vendors and yeah, black owned. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but um, yes, so I went to the Curly Box um stool and they were doing five products for 25 pounds so i picked up some pretty nice treats um out of the five things i've only used one thing and which is this this is the cream of nature pure honey moisturizing dry defense conditioner for dry the dry dehydrated hair it's got pure honey um rich coconut oil cream shea butter and it says no sulfates or, or mineral oils this is going to be a first impressions video if you didn't know it's by the title so yeah let's jump right in so for shampoo i got the cashmere and caviar collection by curls this is their hair bath so i'm excited to use this this says our, our luxurious hair bath gently cleanses with activated charcoal as it naturally conditions with cashmere and caviar caviar extract it leaves hair looking and feeling it leaves hair looking and feeling silky smooth cashmere soft so i'm going to be using that to shampoo for deep conditioning i am going to go in with this beauty right here this is the aunt jackie's coconut cream recipes cocoa repair coconut cream deep conditioner and it's sulfate free paraben free no mineral oil and no petroleum petrolatum Delivers nourishment throughout the hair shaft and stop damage and breaking for natural curls, coils and waves and it's enriched with coconut oil and avocado. So I'm going to be using that. I'm going to actually pick up a leave-in conditioner because I don't think they actually had any. So I'm going to use one of my normal leave-in conditioners and then I'm going to pair it with this. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Shrinkage Defense Curl Activator for dry dehydrated hair again it's got pure honey rich coconut oil creamy shea butter no sulfates mineral oils or silicones so i'm going to be using that as my styling product and then i have just little um samples of the cream of nature uh clay and charcoal line because believe it or not when i went to the stall they had run out of all their products and they were doing a really good deal they were doing three for ten pounds so pretty upset that i missed that only because i got there really late i got there about 3 34 o'clock and it started at 12. so you can imagine in those three and a half to four hours it got rinsed out basically so yeah my hair is in a state right now Ugh, it's just it's just look at this this is just dry look at that <laughs> it's just it all. oh sorry it's just dry and it's frizzy and my scalp is on fire so i definitely can't wait to shampoo this and give that shampoo a try so if you want to see how these products work for me keep on watching okay guys so i have drenched my hair in water in warm water to really open up that cuticle to allow this shampoo to really work so, where have I put you? Aha. <laughs> so, first impressions, here we go. Oh, so it's black. Well, there's the activated charcoal. <laughs> sort of runny. I think that should be enough. Yeah, so it's, it's the runny sort of texture. It smells like a floral body wash. That's what it smells like, so. Let's go. Let's see how this works in my hair. So I like to apply my shampoo straight to my scalp. I really work that in. 
Um, it's studding up okay. I do really like a lather. Like I like a big lather. I like it to suds up really, really good. Cause then I know that it's working. So taking some shampoo underneath here. So we'll see how this goes. Now there is a right way of shampooing your hair, and there's a wrong way of shampooing your hair shampooing your hair and doing all of this and you know like basically doing all of that and that's the wrong way to shampoo your hair you want to shampoo your scalp because when you're rinsing it out the shampoo is going to run through the rest of your hair anyway so it's going to get clean shampoo is only really for your scalp so getting right in there I actually don't have my shampoo brush anywhere here. As I said in my previous video, or I don't know if you actually heard it, I am in the middle of redecorating my house. So I've packed everything away and I really don't know where anything is. So, as for this shampoo, I don't particularly like it. It's not really giving me it's not really sudsing up. Maybe because my hair is really dirty. I don't know. But as for a first impression, I don't know if I like it. I'm gonna rinse it out and see what how it's left my hair. But yeah, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. Like there is no, there's no lather. There's no bubbles, there's no sudsing up, and oh, just yeah. So, I'll massage it a little bit more into my scalp, making sure my scalp is clean. And then I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I've just rinsed it out as you can tell. Can I take back everything I've just said about that shampoo because it's left my hair feeling so soft. My hair is soft to the touch. Oh my Lord, it's, it's... I wish you could put your hand through the screen and feel my hair right now because my hair is feeling just amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so going with the deep conditioner now so remember I'm using the Coco Repair Aunt by Aunt Jackie's and yeah let's oh let's see how this goes okay guys I am back and I've just done two treatments in my hair and that will be uploaded soon so make sure you um watch out for that because those two treatments like look at my hair just look at that. Fantastic, right. So now I'm gonna go in with the deep conditioner because after those two treatments, my hair needs a good deep condition. So, oh, very, very coconutty. If you don't like coconut smell, I wouldn't suggest that you get this. And the consistency, yep, yeah, very thick, as you can see. So let's distribute this through my hair. Yeah, you can see that it's just melting in my strands. Look at that. Where did that even go? <laughs> that just melted in my strands. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna take some more and work it in the back, making sure I get my ends. You always wanna make sure you get your ends. Wow. Look at that, that just melted in my hair. You, just, you can't even see it. The slip on that, oh my good God. Look at that. Oh. Yes, 10 out of 10. Like that just, that just melted in my hair. Where's that gone? Wow, 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 wow. Right, other side. Again, taking a good amount. Rubbing it in between my hands. My hair's a little bit knotty after that treatment. But wow, look at that. 
That is crazy. That is like the slip on that. Look at that. Look. The slip on that is amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is just, that's just. Yes, this PC. Yes, 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 and more. Yes. Look. Slip on that is mad. Wow. I can't get over it. Honestly. Wow. No. What the hell? Oh, my sponge. <laughs> wow. No. This DC. <gasps> this is. This, no. I am shook, shook. Look at that. And it smells good. And it's melted in my strands. And my strands are soft. Just gonna tuck it in. Expensive repair treatment. Cover her hair with a plastic cap and sit under a hooded dryer for 10 minutes. I do not have a hooded dryer. So I'm gonna leave it in for about 20 minutes and I'll be right back. Yes, this DC, thumbs up. Okay guys, so I've left this in for more than 20 minutes, but like the results are just speaking for themselves. I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm gonna show you the final result of the deep conditioner I give you with my final thought. So these are my rinse results and it's safe to say that black deep conditioner will become one of my favorites because just look just look just have a look oh my lord yes 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 right moving on to styling now i've only got one styling product which is this so i'm gonna put in my leave-in conditioner and today i'm gonna use the camille rose coconut leave-in detangling hair treatment so I'm going to use that because that's the first leave-in condition I saw so let's just apply this bad boy throughout my hair and this smells like banana It's just snapping and I don't know why. Okay, so my hair is covered, so I'm gonna take my <laughs> this has actually got Jamaican black castor oil in it because I've run out of the of this actual oil. So I'm gonna take this oil. Jamaican black castor oil is a great sealant for me, and I definitely want to seal this moisture in because I want this washing day to last. I'm just gonna put that on my crown, working that through. And I'm gonna take my cream, Curl activator, shrink the fence, and look how thick that is. That is just thickums. You is thickums, baby. Right. Wish me luck. Oh god. Right.
to see whether this wash day has turned out well or not but my impressions on that styling cream one it's very very thick like but you can see that look very very thick a little does go a long way and I'm just hopeful that it paired with my leave-in well and if it does then this will definitely be a combo on the books and I'll definitely be using it again but oh, the true testament is this area here whether it goes frizzy whether it stays defined and fluffy and whatnot but fingers and toes crossed people but I'll be back with my dry results. Alright guys so a little bit of an update I am about 40% dry but as you can see there is lots of frizz and like it's fluffy and it's not very defined but I wanted to share, share with you that women or well not women but curly girls can really have curly girls and boys they can really have two textures in their hair so right now this is 3C as you can see very coily the shrinkage is real and then behind here around here I'm a 3B so you can really have two textures in your hair and yeah I'm quite happy that I'm really really coily because I love coily hair so yeah I'm gonna come back when it's about 80% dry and show you the results and then, hey guys so I am about 80% dry no about 70% dry this part has just I don't know it's just frizzy and undefined but the rest of my curls um they're doing quite all right they're still wet but they're defined they're shiny it's just this bit here is just i don't understand what went i don't understand what went wrong here i really don't okay never mind but yeah i'm loving this wash and go the shrinkage is crazy um shiny i've been told it smells good hey guys so it is the day after and I am fully dried. I slept on it, so it's looking a little bit crazy right now, but <laughs> my shape is just crazy. Um, yeah, I got, there's a hold on my hair. So that's definitely the, the cream. It's left a little bit of a cast. But yes, these are my results. Shiny, defined, moisturized. That bit is still like really frizzy, or the this side, it's this side. It's still really frizzy and undefined, but for the most part, yes, this wash and go turned out really well, but my, my shape is really weird. But I just have to keep on fluffing until I get, you know, my desired shape. But yeah, this is it, so. Shampoo, I give it a 9 out of 10. It's missing a point because there's no real lava. I like a lava. Um, deep conditioner, 10 out of 10. That deep conditioner was bomb. Amazing, loved it. The, what else did I use? <laughs> the cream styler, bomb, loved it. The only thing is, I think it has um, humectants in it. Yes, glycerin. I don't think my hair is a fan of glycerin too much. Well, my high porosity hair does not like glycerin, but the rest does. So, yeah, I think I'll definitely use this again. I might pair it with another leave-in conditioner to see what it's like. So far, so good. The real testament would be to see how my hair turns out within the next couple of days to see if it like keeps the moisture up or if it loses it and I'll have to wash my hair again but so far so good I'm loving this wash and go again the only thing is my shape my shape is just so weird it's just 
so that I've got more volume on this side than I do on this side and it's just yeah it's a little bit crazy but overall first impression I love all of those products so thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe make sure you hit that notification button down below I'll see you soon bye